Hey, you found Learning to Surf, where I analyze my surfing to help you with yours. I'm Nathaniel Fife, and today I'm gonna to be going over my California surfing trip. So unfortunately, I was not able to get much actual surfing footage. My solo shot camera was not working very well. So you got three clips of me surfing right here. One, just to wipe out. Next one here, my best from the entire session or of these clips, you know, so it's right here. These are all at Hermosa Beach. And then this last one where I go for a closeout. So I didn't get very much footage of me surfing, but I did get to see if it's true what they say about surfing in California. Oh, bro, it's just like, dude, you get the best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get spit right out of them. You just drop in and just smack the lip, whoop, drop down, snap, bah. and then after that, you just drop in, you just ride the barrel and get pitted, so pitted like that. <laughs> well, anyway, I was able to go to Malibu to first point and just check it out. So this is some, some clips from there. I brought my solo shot again, but it, you'll see how that did. So this is just some footage from the beach of, from my cell phone. So I've never seen a wave like this before on the East Coast where I'm at. Uh, you know, they just catch the wave like way at the point and just ride it for like a minute, almost a quarter of a mile all the way, all the way to the beach. So you go there, everyone's sitting out there, got all these boards up against the wall and then just this big lineup of people. And like I say, I mean, they just, is go and that wave just keeps going and going and going and going. So that was uh, something I've never experienced before. Uh, so it was good to be there. Uh, surfing there at Malibu was an experience in and of itself. It didn't look to me that crowded, but I'm used. I'm not used to like a point break like that where there's only like one person maybe two on that wave for the entire beach. So, you know, you have to go and just sit out there and wait your turn and hope that when the wave comes to you, it's empty and you can hop on. Also, I had never surfed on anything but sand. So this is like cobblestone or rocks and, and stuff. So hobbling out over that, I was a little bit nervous, but you know, it ended up not being a problem at all. So when surfing there at at Malibu, um, you know, the, like I say, they just come come through, and then if no one's on the wave, you know, everybody like is going for it, and you know, you hope you get get the position. I was thinking that you know maybe there'd be a line, and you kind of line up. They talk about the lineup, and you know, someone takes the wave, and then everybody moves up, and eventually you get your place in line. But that is not how it works. Everybody is there, and there's a lot of like posturing and like sizing each other up, and you paddle out based on kind of how you fit in the pecking order, and you don't go, you know, beyond that spot. You just kind of be there, and then you know you mess up or do something weird. Everyone starts giving you the stink eye, and you get like relegated back to you know further down. So there I am in the bottom corner. The camera just was not on me at all. Um, so it was it was cool. I got a handful of waves. Um, really, the easiest wave I've ever ever been on. It was easy to catch. It was easy to ride. There was like no guessing. Like, is this the wave? Should I go here or there? Oh, here is when I caught my wave. So here I go. But unfortunately, I'm not in the frame. So that was my ride at Malibu, but you know, you don't see me, trust me, it was, it was amazing, I was like so pitted, wapow. So that's pretty much it for my surfing. So it was a, a good trip, I enjoyed it, hopefully be able to go again and get some good footage for you guys. So that's it, have fun, keep it real.